I think a man's good looking and then I look at him and then he doesn't approach me. Like, did you not see me just look right at you? Like, that was your sign. Like, that was me shooting my shot. It's 2024. Men no longer approach women. They just go their own way. Why would why would a guy want to date somebody who brings to the table exactly what he already brings to the table? He doesn't want to date himself, honey. He certainly doesn't want to date a woman acting like him. Men already have what they want in life. So if their partner isn't adding anything, they would go their own way. Okay, so I recently went to a singles event and it was 90% women. And I was wondering, like, where's all the dudes? Um... I don't know, but they're not there. Exactly. Men have no time to waste at events. They simply have better things to do with their time. This next clip shows exactly why men are choosing to go their own way. We need men? No. We need men? Um, no. Do you need a man? No. You need a man? Oh, God. Do you need a man? No. Do we need men? No. Why? No. Men are simply not appreciated in these times even if they go to wars and risk their lives in difficult jobs. Do we need men? No. No? Do we need men? We need men to make us Do we need men? Do we need men? Do women need men in this world? Do we need men? No. Why? Because we can be strong and independent women. Do we need men? Like, not necessarily, but like, if I can look at them. Like, we need a man to look at. Do we need men? No. no why? Nobody needs men! Really? We do not need men! Why not? Why don't we need men? We don't want men. Why, why would I need men? One thing that I always notice in these clips is that whenever we ask them why, they don't seem to even know why. It's like they believe in things they don't even understand. They got what they wanted. Independence from everything. Be happy and pay your bills yourself. Work, girls. The sun is still high. Toxic women that destroy men's lives. I've had enough and we're here today to tell you that men are coming forward Trust and me. we're exposing every single woman that's out there trying to destroy men's lives. Trust so all you evil baby mothers out there, stopping men from seeing their children, then turn around and change the narrative and say the narrative is that there's men that don't want to be fathers and we're going to expose you. Trust and everyone's going to know who you are by name on the internet. The game's right. over now. Men are tired of these games, and they have had enough and walked their own way. I don't consider myself single. I consider myself free. I don't know when we're finally going to realize that more and more men are single because they want to be single. Because they've built up their lives. They like their day-to-day -day routine. They buy what they want and can afford. You can't control women. You guys don't want to be providers or protectors. You guys want to be controlling and manipulating. Men have standards. Okay. The fact of the matter is, I don't want you to be Okay. If you want me to protect and provide, because quite frankly, you would not even give me, you wouldn't even look my way if I couldn't, I should be able to have some standards of you. And I'm not controlling you, I have standards for you. Now, when you tell me that, hey, I, don't, I would not date a that worked at McDonald's making minimum wage because he can't show me nothing or can't be nothing for me, I respect it. That's your standard. Mm -hmm. But here I come and say, hey, I would not want a woman that is going to broadcast her body that I have worked extremely hard for. That's right. Men want their partner to be traditional and respectful of themselves, and many modern women dress in a way that men do not like. It's not complicated. As the rejections start to mount, average men become less keen to approach average women who clearly have no interest in average men. I'm looking for a man who's stable, emotionally and financially, fit physically, and he's funny. Stable, emotionally, financially, he's fit, and he's funny. I know he's out there, but where? He is either working out or working to make his business better or learning something that's gonna give him money back. Where is this man? Some men will choose a life of solitude simply because they've been so hurt by women in the past. They don't know how to trust women and honestly, they don't even know if it's worth it. If men see that all they're gonna get is disrespect, they'll walk away, leaving modern women furious. I'm not sure why nobody wants to speak up about this, but I guess I'll be the one to do it. There is a serious shortage of attractive, eligible, mentally stable, emotionally available men. When women get furious about men not approaching, they just say that men no longer exist or that men are all bad. It's a coping mechanism for them. Where are all the good men that don't cheat? Where are all the good men that still respect women to understand that they don't deserve to be played with, lied to, and manipulated? 
where are all the good men that want to prioritize their family, their girlfriends, and the people around them that matter? Where are these men? These men have been hurt, disrespected, and made fun of. So they focused on themselves, leaving the field to women. Because according to women, there are no good ones left. Trust me, they are there, just far away, enjoying success. So I don't think anybody's dying to give me their number when they see me there, okay? Men asking random women out is something that no longer happens because men know it could end up in a horrible way. A lot of men don't want to get married. And it's not because they don't like the thought of having a lifelong partner to be there for them when they need it. But a lot of men don't want to get married because they're avoiding potential divorce. In a lot of cases, divorce ruins a man's life. He has to completely start over. When divorce hits, it's like having your life taken away. You have nothing left. And no man wants to experience that. Why are there so many single women out here that are struggling to find a man? Because men are no longer in the game. They are finally free. Well, I'm going to tell you the reason. Honestly, a lot of women treat men like trash. A lot of women take men for granted. A lot of women want men to take accountability for their actions and what they do. But boy, if you ask a woman to take accountability for her faults and her actions, it's straight to signing divorce papers. But my question is, why are women so resistant to taking accountability? Like really, what is the reason why you won't take accountability for your actions? So you single ladies struggling to find a man? Most men are not even wanting to get married. Indeed, men have been treated badly. And instead of admitting their mistakes, women get furious and wonder where the men are. Women are scared of happily single men. Being happily single as a man makes you more appealing. Men that don't need to be in a relationship. Men that have high standards. Men that don't chase women. They chase in purpose. This makes women think, wonder if that man is actually interested in them. It drives them crazy. It's almost all men doing this at this point. And will in turn, y'all listen to this, increase the value of that man and his expressed interest in their minds. Here, there is this movement has been around for a while called MGTOW, men going their own way. They believe that not to get in a relationship, don't get with a single mom, don't do it, just don't, don't do it. This type of stuff, this is the reason why that is getting so big. Because unfortunately, there's so many of them out there that do this. Men want that traditional family where each member does its part the way it's supposed to be. There really is. And uh, these guys don't believe in the nuclear family. They don't. Well, they want to be. They want to be in that family. They want that life. But they said with the way that feminism in society is right now, we're not going to do it. But they know in reality, traditional women are going extinct. And, you know, it's, it's so sad because I believe in that traditional intact family, that nuclear family. We all know that the men have our own thing going on right now. Uh, we're going our own way. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're saving ourselves, passporting up, um, self-improving, any and everything other than chasing women and uh, worrying about social norms and things of that nature. Men are having the greatest challenge of their life. I just wasn't expecting guys to still be so immature in their 30s or be so scared of commitment mm. because now I feel like they have an extra like when they're a frat boy and they're like, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just trying to live my life. Like whatever. OK, that's still annoying. But we get it. You're 23 and you want to live life. But when you're 34, when you're 35 and you're still like, yeah, I don't know what I want. I'm like, dude, you're like old. <laughs> this laughter is a way to cope, knowing that men no longer choose them. It's not that men don't know what they want. We know exactly what we want and that is not women. Why would anyone invest in something that they'll never be good enough in? Because that's how guys feel majority of the time. No matter what we do, we're just not good enough for them. Half of Gen Z men no longer actively even trying to date. They're not even trying. And so the question is, well, why is that happening for women? Women, first off, are dating older. They want more economically and emotionally viable men, and that usually means older men. In addition, when young women are lonely, they have much better social networks. They have much stronger friend networks, whereas guys become kind of lone wolves and kind of literally sequester from everyone and everything. So why waste our time? A woman's life begins at 18, where she can have simps spending money on her, but men's life begins at 30 because they have to build themselves up. If a guy says, I don't want to be in a relationship right now, it is not code for, I am just waiting for the perfect woman to come along and change my mind. It also doesn't mean he'll be ready next week or next month. 
Like I always say, when a guy says he doesn't want to be in a relationship, believe him. The reasons don't matter, the facts do. When guys make up their minds, nothing can change that. Instead of plotting and strategizing ways to become this incredible woman that gets him to change his mind and change his stance on love, just take it at face value. If what you want is a relationship and he's saying that's not what he wants, then you are wasting your time because he just doesn't want to. Men aren't like this. If a man is in a phase in his life where he just doesn't want to be in a relationship, then no woman is going to penetrate that. Nothing will ever come in the way of men and their goals. I am 33 years old and I am single. I have no children. Um, my friend was over today. She's 32 years old, same single, no children. We were talking about life. We did our vision boards and we were just thinking and reflecting on where life has taken us and why some things didn't work out. There was like breakups that happened. Women say, I don't want a man and I don't need a man. This is just a way of coping. It's a way of dealing with the pain. They would rather get furious than admit they want men back. The pain of the fact that you don't have anyone right now. Any woman that tells me that she doesn't want a man, I will never believe you. Everyone needs, every woman needs a man. That is a fact. In the days, most of the time, you would wait for someone to make the first move. It might be on the first date, it might be the third date, whatever. It right. could be the man, it could be the woman. But now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. All my girlfriends are like, they, they're waiting, it's the third date, fourth date, a week later. He hasn't gone in for the kiss, he doesn't do any touch or anything. And I've asked my dude friends that are single, right. and they are like, you don't know where a woman's gonna go with that story anymore, I ain't touching nobody. Men are just backing out because anything they do that involves getting close might put them at the risk of getting accused of something. And it kind of, it sucks because the Me Too movement is so strong and so, so powerful for the people that need it, but it shouldn't ruin the maturity that we should have within intimacy and relationship. By the year 2030, I'm pretty sure something called relationships won't exist anymore. Well, guys, that was all for today. We'll be back soon.